Hello everyone, Big Man here. So, today's the day. The challenge is over for the fi Naval Fighter Bomber Build Challenge, and we have three really great submissions here. Um, I'm really happy that, you know, we got a decent number of submissions, and they all look absolutely amazing. Um, so we've got the first one here, we've got the TBF-5 Banshee by Yuri. Then we've got this right here, which is the A57 Tempest by Rockhaw. Last but not least, the Pinifer Mark II A. It's by Eggnog. It's currently spinning. I'll probably have to respawn the mission. So here we have the TBF5 Banshee. Uh, is there a way to unfold the wings from the outside, or is it on the inside? I, li I like the detailing on the wings and the jet exhausts. Um, these jet exhausts won't be for, apparently not for thrust, which is good. Um, up in the pilot seat. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we can see our ammunition. We can see uh, backlights. Oh, there's lots of stuff in here. Okay, so how do I fold my wings? Unfold wings. That looks really good. Okay. Um, so, you said start up, turn on the engine. Oh, nice jet powered. Oh, I love that cockpit. It's a good cockpit. It's a gorgeous looking plane. So we're just going to taxi off the runway. Is there any throttle control? Oh no, that, that is our collective. Oh, okay. That's good. And we will hit our throttle. Very botched, botched takeoff. Okay. Oh, 15 to 25 for cruising. Let's just decrease it a little bit. Oh, okay. I've just lowered the sound. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold our landing gear. How does that look? That looks really good. Nice. Okay, so first things first, in terms of design and ergonomics, it's really it's 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 easy to fly in terms of knowing what's what, you know, because it's it's using all the standards, it's you can fly it from third person. Um let's try this mouse aim. Oh yes the mouse aim works, but the canopy is a little buggy. Third person mouse aiming. Oh, okay. Bit funny, I guess. Alright, so now in terms of performance and handling, let's go for performance first. How fast are we going? 200 knots? That's not bad. That's that's pretty good actually. Okay, so in terms of handling, it's not too bad. Um, it's a bit jittery. I don't know if that's automatic correction or just plain. You know, pitches does it well. It does pitch down a bit though. Now we're going to test combat effectiveness. Oh yeah, there's the UC-25. We're going to smack it. Oh, okay. So we got Pylon 5, UGB, Fuel, Torpedo. Let's let's drop a bomb on the UC-25. Very close to the water and... Did I not... Oh, do I not have it selected? Um, okay. That doesn't work. It's a lovely plane, but I just... I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's an issue on my end. Yeah, this this is going to be a tough one. So, design and ergonomics. I, I love the way the plane looks. Paint job's amazing. Um, and the cockpit is laid out in a good good way. The radar's very helpful. The heads up display is very helpful. Everything makes sense. Everything works how it should, um, except those. So, in terms of design and ergonomics, I'll probably give this an 8. And performance and handling. Speed is good. It's 200 knots. However, and the yaw is good. The roll is okay, but the pitch is... Hmm, the pitch isn't bad, but it's not great, if you know what I mean. In, t in terms of the actual performance and handling, I'm probably going to have to give it maybe a 5. Because it does handle well, and it does fly well. It just doesn't handle massively well. Combat effectiveness. Um, uh, this is a tough one. So, look, your guns work well. Your guns work really well. I couldn't get these to work. I don't know if that's an issue on your end or my end. I apologize if it's on my end. I think because of the radar system, the fact that, you know, you're able to see targets from a few kilometers away, I would give the combat effectiveness of this purely with guns, I'd probably give it a 4. 
yeah, I apologize if they do work. I just haven't been able to get them to work. But well done, Yuri. Uh, so for you, yeah, um, well, well done. In fact, I might actually, for performance and handling, I might actually give it a six because it's speed. You know, I think it's it's nice, and, it's nice and fast. Now we have the second vehicle, which is the A fifty seven A A fifty seven Tempest by Rockhawk, and this this looks it's really small. I, I like how small it is. Quite small, definitely definitely a carrier based um, fighter, which is nice. I mean, in initial looks. This looks really nice. Um, let's hop onto it. So open cockpit. There we go. Now, is there a way? There is a way to fold the wings. Okay, that's good. So the wings fold. That looks like the desired width. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that out again, and let's see if there are any instructions on how to fly this plane. Okay, so there's no instructions on um, how to fly it or blah blah blah, which is okay. So we got speed, vertical speed. Attitude, weapon. That's also, it's like a G. Is that? Oh, that's the guns. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh, we've got countermeasures as well. That's good. That's good. Okay, so uh, apparently it's just hit the engine. Okay, so it's a diesel. I'm assuming up down is our throttle. It is. Um, this is this has landing gear. Okay, so they just fold back like that. Okay, so um, initial thoughts. Okay, so the visibility is not bad. Um, handles superbly. Handles so well. Flies. How fast do we go? Uh, speed. What is that speed in? He said does top speed 360 kilometers an hour, or convert the 200 knots to kilometers an hour. But that's. I mean, it's it's a decent speed, which is good. Oh, that was one of our bombs. We've got the bomb slip. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, just would have been. Slightly nice to know, but we've got our guns. Oh, it does try to yaw a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, I guess what we'll do is we will cycle to our bombs. Let's see if we can drop it on this. Oh, that's the other bomb. Oh no. Oh my goodness, I'm not a good pilot today. <laughs> I don't know which which bomb it is, which would be nice to know. Um, which is something that Yuri did have. Oh, did we hit it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was close. Okay, well, I guess we're going to... Oh, it cycles us onto guns automatically. That's... Oh, no. Um... Well, <laughs> okay, well, those, these were shots, these were shots, so that's pretty good, I think in terms of an actual combat situation, that's pretty good. So let's, uh, let's go and wreck this thing. Okay, so in terms of design and ergonomics, um, they're pretty good, they're pretty good. I think the cop design is a bit kind of, you almost feel short. I mean, the ergonomics isn't bad, it's just, I don't know how, what, what unit is this in. And I think, yeah, design and ergonomics, I think I'll give this a, probably a, I'll give it a 7. Uh, performance and handling. Performance is great. Handles almost a bit too well, if you know what I mean. Like, it flies extremely well, but it, it becomes a bit uncontrollable. Um, so, good in combat situations. But just general flying, and I think the lack of the mouse aim isn't um, that good for combat. I think it's it's kind of almost become a bit of a standard. It's not a massive issue, but I think in terms of like arm and stuff like that, it's pretty good. I think I'll give that a I'm gonna give it an eight for performance and handling. Combat effectiveness. This is where the lack of the mouse aiming comes in, and the fact that it handles almost too well. It means that you can't really aim the guns that well. And the other thing is that I can't tell which bomb I have selected. For that, I think I'd probably, I'd probably give this, probably going to give it a six because it's definitely got that potential that it could do a lot of damage, but actually being able to fly the plane to do that damage is difficult. Well, well done to you, um, Rockhawk. That was a lovely plane. 
but um, I, I enjoyed flying it. Alright, now we have the Pinifer Mark II A by Eggnog. This is, well, it definitely folds to less than 6.25 meters. It folds, well, it looks like to less than 2 meters. It's a really small plane, I love it. I love the detailing on the engine. Looks like we've got a modular engine. In terms of guns, we got two auto cannons. We've got armor piercing. Armor piercing. Very nice. We got the two gun requirement. Okay, I think I think it's worth just hopping in. I like that. So we've got magneto spin. Um Ah, uh, yep, okay. Vertical angle. Oh, that's good. So that's extra power for takeoff. And we get deploy tail, hook, park and brake, landing gear, total bombs, top of cannons. Change select ordinance group. All right, so let's. Do I need to turn on some electricity? Do I need some electricity? I think I need some. Otherwise, I, um, I can't actually find a circuit breaker. I I can't actually tell. I don't think it's got any electricity. I don't know if Eggnog's just forgotten. I can't do anything. That doesn't have electricity either. Neither does that. That does though. Okay, so in front backlight works. Navigation lights work. But we've just got no electricity. Again, I don't know if it's my issue or I don't know, but unfortunately I can't I can't test the plane. I kinda have to give it a rating of what I think of it right now. I guess design and ergonomics. Um the way that everything is positioned in the cockpit is very good. You know, everything is, you know what units everything is in. I know how the system works, but you know, everything is very obvious, it makes sense. In terms of the actual plan itself, it looks amazing. I love, I love the paint scheme. I, I love the engine as well. For that, I, I'm honestly going to give this a 10 for design and ergonomics. I think it looks amazing. However, the other areas, Unfortunately, because I can't get it running, I just can't do anything with it. I, I, I do apologize if I've missed something, but I just can't find it. And I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet, but if I can't find it, then 12 year old kids who play this game can't find it. So in terms of performance and handling, I'm sorry, I have to give this a zero because I can't actually fly it. Um, which means that also in combat effectiveness, again, I'm sorry, I have to give it a zero. So, in terms of final scores, for Yuri, your plane, it was, it was really nice. I love the way it looks. So you got an eight for that. In terms of performance and handling, you got a six. Um, and for the actual combat effectiveness, because we couldn't get these to work, and you had mentioned in my Discord that you had some issues getting with these to work, and I, I'm sorry you didn't, weren't able to get them working in time. But you got a four for those because the guns did work and the radar worked really well that gives you a total of 18 out of 30. so you know that's actually a really good score well done well done you, you've done very well with the a57 um so for design and ergonomics you got a seven but the thing that let you down is the fact that nothing has units and so i can't actually tell you know is it six feet or is it six meters with my altitude etc so that's got a seven in terms of almost handling got an eight uh because it handles really well but it almost handles too well and it becomes a bit uncontrollable and then for the combat effectiveness you got a six that gives you a total score of 21 out of 30. so well done done very well with that and then with eggnog's plane i as i said earlier i'm sorry i if I haven't been able to get it to work, I haven't been able to get it to work. I think it's the best looking plane here, personally. Um, and it's got all the ergonomics and everything. So, easy 10 for design and ergonomics. I just can't get it to fly. Unfortunately, that means that it got a zero on performance and handling and... Looks great. And a zero on combat effectiveness. So, yes, unfortunately, that does give Ignog... I'm sorry, dude, that gives you a score of 10 out of 30. Um, but thank you everyone for entering. You might have been keeping track of the scores, but Eggnog, third place with 10 out of 30. Well done. Look, it looks amazing. I'm, I think if I put infinite ele electricity on, it would have flown very nicely. Second place goes to Yuri. Well done, my dude. You did you did really well. Um, 
but unfortunately there was just three points in it. The plane was amazing. I love the plane. I love the inspiration behind the actual the plane that it actually is in real life. But by three points at 21 out of 30 points, the winner of this challenge is Rock Hawk the a57 there's not really much else to say well done um well done real quick well done yuri well done eggnog well done all of you uh, you've done really well I'm really glad this challenge went as well as it did congratulations to all of you and i will see you in the next video goodbye